Dear customers, thanks for buying our products. When you open your package, you will get an automatic cat feeder, this one, and the power adapter. Now let's have a uh, brief introduction about this feeder. This is the record or low battery indicator. This is the macro indicator. The record button, the set button, the increment button, the decreasement button. This is the charging port. The power switch button. The screen switch button and uh, the battery compartment. Before using the feeder, you need to take a few minutes to make sure it is in good condition. You need to do as following. First, connect the charging cable to the feeder and then plug the adapter to the outlet. Turn on the switch button. The screen will show blue. Next, you need to press the increment button for about one second and you will see the foot tray rotate. If it rotates properly, it all shows the feeder is in good condition. Please make sure all the steps are done under the unlock state. And you can use the screen switch button to lock or unlock the button and you can also press the site and the increment button at the same time to lock or unlock it and we have a small suggestion we suggest you installing 4c batteries to as backup to make sure the feeder works well even when the electricity power goes out Now I'll show you how to set up. To set up the feeder, you need to make sure it's under the unlock state. It means you need to unlock it. Press the set button. You can see the R digit is flashing. You can use the increment button and the decreasement button to adjust the numbers. Please be noted that the numbers vary from 0 to 23, and you can use either the increment button or the decreasement button to choose the right time. Press the set, mode, uh, set button again to save the time, and uh, now the minute uh, digit is flashing. Use the increment button or the decreasement button to adjust the minutes. The minutes numbers varies from 0 to 59. You can also use either the increment button or the decreasement button to choose the right time. Press the set button again to save the time. And now you can say uh, there is a 1 at the bottom of the screen it's flashing and the R digit is also flashing. Now we have entered the mealtime setting mode. You can use the increment button and the decreasement button to choose the right time for your cat. This is the hour. Press the set button to save it. and uh, save it. Then your first uh, meal time for your cat is set. And uh, repeat the four more steps to set the second meal time. For example, 5, 6.50, okay. Okay press the set button to save it. You, uh, you can set up to four meals in 24 hours. If you don't need so much meals for your cat, you can 
press the set button for about three seconds to exit setting. Now I will show you how to record a milk call for your cat. First, unlock the panel. Press and long hold the record button. The indicator light will be red and the icon will show on the upright. Speak to the microphone here and it will capture your voice. When you, uh, when you finish, just release the button. Press the button again, it will the repeat your voice. The will be red and the, the icon will show on the upright. Speak to the microphone here. If you want to update your voice, just repeat the um, steps. Many customers are very confused about how to change the meal time and how to cancel the meal time. Uh, now I will show you. Uh, first, you need to unlock the feeder. And the screen is blue. Now press the set button. You can see the R digit number is flashing. Uh, this is the local time setting mode. If you don't need to change the local time, just press the set button to save the time. It's okay. And now you can see the number one at the bottom uh, and the R digit numbers are all, both flashing. This means we have entered the uh, meal time setting mode. If you don't need to change the meal time, just press the set button to save the time. Okay, now you can see the number two at the bottom and the R digit are both flashing. Uh, this means we have come to the second meal time. And uh, if you want to change the time, you can use the increment button or the decrement button to change the time. Then press the set button to save the time. Okay, now we have come to the third time. Okay, uh, if you want to cancel this meal and uh, you just need to change the R digit number and the minute digit number into zero. Okay. Press the set button to uh, save the time and uh, you can still see the number three are at is at the bottom okay but don't worry uh, the third meal has been cancelled and uh, now we have come to the uh, fourth meal if you don't need to change anything just uh, press the set button for about three seconds we will exit the setting mode Now uh, I will show you how to fill the feeder. And first you need to press the uh, lock button and then pull up the cover to open it. And next you need to put the uh, cat food into the food tray. You can put either the dry food or the wet food. Both are okay. And uh, uh, one thing you must be noted is that uh, the opening is always at uh, the same place and the cover won't move, but uh, uh, the foot tray will rotate clockwise. Now I will show you how to recover factory default sighting. Uh, first, unlock the feeder. Then press the set button. You will see the R digit is flashing. Then press and hold this button for about one second. You can see all the icons on the screen has disappeared. Uh, this means all the settings has been deleted. Uh, 